Looking for something to do as the weather warms up this week, the dogwood trails around Knoxville are blooming and beautiful. They're so pretty. Raya Katane is joining us from one of the three featured trails in South Knoxville. Raya, the dogwoods are in full bloom and the birds are chirping. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. It is beautiful out here. It is a little bit chilly, but this weekend is going to be the perfect time to get on out and take advantage of these trails. Right now, we're at Island Home Boulevard. This is one of the three, like you said, featured trails in South Knoxville, and I'm here with Vicki from Dogwood Arts. Uh, Vicki, you can actually see the baby dogwood tree here behind us and a little bit of an older one here, too. So can you tell us about the difference and why it's so important to sort of plan ahead? Sure. So. We estimate that this tree is probably 75 years old. You can tell by the trunk that it's a much older tree and, and some of it's died out on the, the right side. And um, we do an annual tree planting campaign for the trails to keep them you know, blooming for the future and planning for the future. In fact, we call that planting for the future. And it's the Bazillion Blooms program. We do that each year in the fall because that's the optimum time to plant trees for success. And then the property owner here is doing exactly what we love to promote. She is our uh, trail manager here and she's she's doing the work that she's doing the work of the trails. So this little dogwood we think is probably seven to eight years old and she's planted one on either side of this tree and you can see that it's got a tremendous amount of growth already so when this one when we do lose this one and uh, they die out like everything does the average lifespan of a dogwood um, in an urban setting is is probably more like 40 years uh, but in a native setting they can live to be 80 or even 100 years old. Uh, this one, even though it's in an urban setting, has obviously been really well taken care of, so it's holding on for a long time, but we can't always count on that. So this is just a great example of, again, planting for the future. Yeah, and here in Knoxville, there are dogwood trails in all four sort of corners of the city, but South Knoxville is the featured one this year. Why is that? Well, it's their turn, so we do those <laughs> on a rotation, and so this year we are featuring the trails of South Knoxville. That's Chapman Highway, Island Home Park, which is where we are today, and then Lake Moore Hills. And they're, you know, the thing about the trails is that they're all different. They're unique to their neighborhood, and it gives you a good opportunity as you visit the different trails to see life in different parts of Knoxville. This is a beautiful neighborhood that dates back to the 1940s and really interesting architecture, and it's just a, it's just a lovely spot. If you haven't been to Island Home, you need to come out and see how beautiful this neighborhood is and it is in full bloom right now it's really gorgeous i totally agree i feel so grateful to be out here this morning it is so beautiful ladies i'm gonna go ahead and send things back to you when we come back in a little bit we'll talk about the upcoming arts festival the dogwood arts festival that's coming up this weekend i I'm, love this time of year i know i'm sure you're freezing though ryan it's like you're talking about dogwood trails and it's in the 30s <laughs> this morning huh? all right we're gonna check on those morning temps with mike hey